Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez back again. On this past Sunday's live stream, I discussed a problem that people may encounter when they are printing on regular home type printers, not the professional level, say something like a Canon 4100 or 6100, and equivalent Epson type printers that have built-in full vacuum advance media systems these printers that we are using utilize rollers and they utilize little things called star wheels we call them pizza cutters because they are basically pointed little gear looking little items about that big that are mounted onto part of the rolling system on the platen of your printer and they help to control the transport of paper unfortunately because those little pointy star wheels actually are literally entering the coating of the paper they could leave marks on some papers they're not affected at all but on some of the burrito papers they can literally cause physical damage and the only way to try to maybe minimize this damage is to increase the print head to paper gap you can do that on some advanced epson printers Maybe not the regular all-in-one type printers. On Canon printers, however, you can just use a setting called Prevent Paper Abrasion that is found on the Maintenance tab. A lot of you know how to arrive at that and you set it up. The only catch is that once you print a job using that particular option, it's going to give you a secondary Give Me the OK to Continue Printing type indicator. You just click it and it will then print you cannot just walk away and forget about that print you're going to come back and it has not printed yet so that is one way let me show you what this looks like and what you can basically look for when you are printing on certain types of papers mostly those very delicate artsy type burrito papers let's go over to the screen and i'll show you what i'm talking about Okay, so here's an example of one of my viewers and members of my Facebook group was experiencing, and it's really odd. Now, if you really get close to this, that's as close as I can get, unfortunately. Uh, let's see if I can do this. There we go. That's even better. So you can see some lines, and here's a double line, double line, single line, double line, single, 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 no line here, double line, double line. This is really strange to me because normally what you will see is equally spaced row of little lines that if you get up really close with a loop, you will see that they are actually composed of little dots, not necessarily a continuous type scratch, if you will. They are created by those star wheels. Now, this is a weird situation here because if this was due to, say, a bad head alignment, then it would show up, I mean, systematically all of those little gaps would be equally spaced. So this is a little bit strange. Now, a suggestion for you guys when you submit something like this gentleman did in my Facebook group and some people did reply to him, please tell us if this is created along the head travel, meaning normally we load papers vertically, in other words, in portrait mode. So the head traveling from left to right would create a line or any kind of artifact that's mechanically created. Say if there's something, a foreign object or something such as that on the printhead unit, it would literally scratch it across the travel of the printhead. This may be occurring along the feed direction. So if you were to say print a 13 by 19, this would be along the leading edge to trailing edge direction. Now, again, it could be due to those star wheels maybe the reason between these two areas here you don't see one is because maybe that particular star wheel is not causing a problem normally i have to tell you guys that you need to open up your lids on your printers and look inside to see whether there is such a thing as a double wheel or a double star wheel set up on some of these areas i don't see any other reason for this to occur now again if you are getting this type of effect and you do not get it on other paper types, like it was stated here, 
then it may be due to the fact that that situation occurs with the star wheels. It just doesn't cause any visible damage on your normal resin coated papers, what we normally use for everyday printing, but it will show its ugly head when you print on very delicate Burrita surface papers. Other things that you may be experiencing could be due to something, just a little sliver of paper. Maybe you had a slight paper jam, you pulled the paper out, and a little bit of that paper is caught somewhere. It could be literally anything. Anything that's underneath that metallic, almost silvery or chrome-plated unit that runs across the head travel, in other words, paper passes underneath that, anything that's caught there will affect the surface of your print and it'll be in a linear direction. Normally it's only like one line and if you can figure out, say on a printer such as a Canon printer or the newer Epson printers that have self-centering guides, just kind of you know visualize where that line is occurring, line it up where it would be along the plate and then have a look and take a very close look to see if any foreign object has been lodged right underneath that plate because that is going to cause scratches or some other type of artifact every single time. So just examine the inside of your printers regularly to make sure you don't see anything that does not belong there. If anything has come loose, because that platen is actually spring loaded. And so you have to be very careful when you look at it, make sure nothing that would get in the way of the paper passing through it without the surface being struck, scratched, or smudged in any way. That would be caused by something foreign. Often, however, it can also be caused by just plain old ink gunk that collects after many, many months of printing. All right, that is it for now. Again, just take a look at your platens every once in a while. You may want to actually clean them with a little bit of a, get a spray bottle with some 70% alcohol, and just give it a spray and give it a wipe and make sure that it's always kept spanky clean. And while you are in there looking, look for any kind of foreign objects that could possibly cause a problem in the future. All right, that's enough for now. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And as always, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.